I'm using a 3.75 mm crochet hook and a medium weight yarn. So let's get started. We'll start by working a slip knot. So here I've worked a slip knot. For this pattern, we work 11 chain stitches initially and then we add multiples of 6 chain stitches till your desired length and then we add 8 more chain stitches. I am going to work a sample size so it would make more sense. So let's work. So I am working my first chain here. This is 2, this is 3, this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So here I have completed working on 11 chain stitches and now I will be adding multiples of 6. So I am going to work 18 more stitches for this tutorial purpose which is a multiple of 6. 6 times 3 is 18. So let's work. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Adding 6 more. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And add 6 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So here I have completed working on 11 plus 18 chain stitches which is a total of 29 chain stitches. You can go ahead and add more chain stitches but it should be in multiple of 6. Once you have reached your desired length we are going to add 8 more chain stitches. So let's work. So this is my first chain here I am working on. This is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So here I have worked 37 chain stitches in total, 11 stitches initially, then I added multiples of 6, that was 18 stitches for me and then I added 8 more chain stitches. And now we are going to count back 3 stitches from our hook. So this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and into the 4th stitch we are going to work a double crochet. So I am working a double crochet into the 4th stitch and these 3 stitches which we just skipped will be considered as our first double crochet. And now we are going to work 1 double crochet into this next stitch. So let's work 1 double crochet into the next stitch. So here a double crochet in the next stitch and again we will work 1 double crochet in the next stitch. So now you can go ahead and repeat this pattern wherein you will work 1 double crochet in each of the chain stitches across and I will meet you at the end of this round. So here we have reached at the end of this round with 35 double crochet stitches. We will pull up a tall loop and leave it as is. And now we are going to attach a different color yarn. So I have already worked a slip knot and we are going to attach it at the right side of our work. It's the same place where we skipped our three chains at the start of our foundation row. So we will insert our hook on top of these first three chains that we skipped. So here. We are going to insert our hook on the top of the three chains, grab the yarn, pull up a loop and work a slip stitch to attach it. And now we are going to chain three. So let's work. This is my first chain. This is two and this is three. These first three chains will always be considered as our first double crochet. And now we are going to work one double crochet into this next stitch here at the base. So let's work one double crochet into this next stitch. So here I've worked one double crochet and we'll work one double crochet into this next stitch. So working one double crochet in the next stitch. These first three double crochet will be serving as a border for our pattern. And now we are going to skip the next two stitches. So this is one, this is two. And in the third stitch, we are going to place five double crochet shell. So let's work. This is my first double crochet, working my second double crochet. This is my third double crochet. This is four. And this is the fifth double crochet into the same stitch. So this is how it looks. 
we have skipped two stitches and worked a five double crochet shell in the third stitch and now skipping the next two stitches one and two and in the third stitch we are going to work one single crochet so here i'm working one single crochet and now again skipping the next two stitches one and two and in the third stitch we are again going to work five double crochet shell exactly what we did here so let's work this is my first double crochet into the third stitch and now working my second double crochet into the same stitch working my third double crochet into the same stitch this is the fourth double crochet and this is the fifth double crochet into the same stitch and now again skipping the next two stitches so this is one and this is two into the third stitch we are again going to work one single crochet so i'm working one single crochet here so now you can go ahead and repeat this pattern wherein you will skip the next two stitches and work a five double crochet shell into the third stitch and then again skip the next two stitches and work a single crochet into the following stitch you are going to keep repeating this pattern till you are left with five stitches at the end of this round and i'll meet you at the end of this round so here i've reached at the end of this round and i have one two three four and five stitches left and now i'm going to skip the next two stitches and i'll work one double crochet into the third stitch so here i'm working one double crochet into the third stitch i'll work one double crochet into the next stitch and now in the next stitch we are again going to work one double crochet but we are also going to switch to our previous yarn so this one so for that we are going to wrap around the yarn insert the hook into the next stitch grab the yarn and pull up a loop wrap around the yarn and pull through the first two loops and hold on to the remaining two loops and at this point we'll place our previous yarn loop over the hook pull the longer end tight this is also the same loop that we left after working our foundation row and now we are going to wrap around the yarn and pull through all the three loops together and this way we have just attached our previous yarn and now here we have also completed our round one and now we are going to chain three for our second round so this is one this is two and this is three again these three chains will be considered as our first double crochet and now we'll turn around our work and we are going to work one double crochet into this next stitch so let's work one double crochet into this next stitch and again we'll work one double crochet into this next stitch so working one double crochet into the next stitch and now we'll chain one and here we are going to work one single crochet into this space right here this between the five double crochet shell and the third double crochet that we just made so we'll insert our hook into this space grab the yarn pull up a loop and work a single crochet and now we are going to work double crochet together over this five double crochet shell from our previous round so for that we'll wrap around the yarn insert the hook between the first and the second double crochet of the five double crochet shell grab the yarn and pull up a loop you should have three loops on your hook now wrap around the yarn and pull through the first two loops now you should be left with two loops on your hook so keep on holding those two loops we have done this once we are going to repeat the same three more times so let's work we'll wrap around the yarn insert the hook between the second and the third double crochet of the five double crochet shell grab the yarn and pull up a loop you should be having four loops on your hook now wrap around the yarn and pull through the first two loops now you should be having three loops on your hook keep holding on those three loops repeating the same we'll wrap around the yarn insert the hook between the third and the fourth double crochet like this grab the yarn pull up a loop now you should be having five loops on your hook now wrap around the yarn and pull through the first two loops and now you should be left with four loops on your hook keep holding those four loops and now again repeating the same for the last time we'll wrap around the yarn 
and insert the hook between the fourth and the fifth double crochet of the five double crochet shell grab the yarn pull up a loop now you should be having six loops on your hook now again wrap around the yarn and pull through the first two loops and now you should be left with five loops on your hook so let's count one two three four and five and now we'll wrap around the yarn and pull through all the five loops together like this and lock it with a chain stitch and this completes our first strawberry and now we are going to chain two one and two pull the chains a little gently like this and now we are going to work one single crochet into this space right here just after the five double crochet shell and the single crochet from our previous round so there is a space here so we'll insert our hook grab the yarn pull up a loop and work a single crochet like this and now we are going to chain one and we are going to work one single crochet again into this next space right between the single crochet and the next double crochet shell so there is a space here so we'll insert our hook wrap the yarn pull up a loop and work a single crochet so this is how it looks and now again we are going to work double crochet together over this next five double crochet shell same thing what we did here so let's work we'll wrap around the yarn insert the hook between the first two double crochets grab the yarn pull up a loop wrap around the yarn and pull through the first two loops and hold on to the remaining two loops we have done this once let's repeat it for three more times so wrap around the yarn insert the hook between the second and the third double crochet grab the yarn and pull up a loop you should have four loops on your hook wrap around the yarn and pull through the first two loops and hold on to the remaining three loops now again wrap around the yarn insert the hook between the third and the fourth double crochet grab the yarn and pull up a loop you should have five loops on your hook wrap around the yarn and pull through the first two loops and hold on to the remaining four loops now again wrap around the yarn insert the hook between the fourth and the fifth double crochet like right here grab the yarn pull up a loop you should have six loops on your hook wrap around the yarn and pull through the first two loops and now you should be left with five loops on your hook now here we have five loops wrap around the yarn and pull through all the five loops together and lock it with a chain stitch and now we are going to work two more chain stitches so this is my first chain and this is my second chain and now we are going to work one single crochet into the space right after the five double crochet shell and the next single crochet so right here there's a space so we'll insert the hook grab the yarn pull up a loop and work a single crochet so this is how it looks and now we are going to chain one so let's chain one and now again working one single crochet into this next space right after the single crochet from our previous round and before the five double crochet shell so we'll insert the hook grab the yarn pull up a loop and work a single crochet and now you can go ahead and repeat this pattern and i'll meet you when i'm at my last berry right here so here i've reached at the end of this round i've already worked my last berry and three chains and now i'm going to work one single crochet into this space right after the five double crochet and before the next double crochet so we'll insert the hook into this space grab the yarn pull up a loop and work a single crochet and now we are going to chain one and we are going to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so let's work we'll work one double crochet into this next stitch right on top of the next double crochet one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the top of the three chains that we made at the start of our previous round so here i'm working one double crochet onto the top chain out of the three chains 
and this completes our round 2. And now pull up a tall loop and leave it as is. For our next round, I am going to attach this red color yarn. So this one and we are going to keep this loop as is. And for the next round, I am going to start my round with the right side of our work. And for that, we are going to attach our red color yarn on top of the first three chains that we made at the start of our round two. So here on the top of these three chains, we'll insert the hook on the top chain, grab the red color yarn and pull up a loop like this. And now we'll chain three. So this is my first chain I'm working on. This is two and this is three. So again, these three chains will be considered as our first double crochet. And now we are going to work one double crochet into this next stitch. So I'm working one double crochet here in the next stitch and one double crochet into the following stitch. So again, working one double crochet here. And now we'll be working five double crochet shell into this chain one space that we worked in our round two. So right here. We are going to place five double crochet stitches so let's work so this is my first double crochet i'm working on this is my second double crochet this is my third double crochet this is four and this is the fifth double crochet into the same chain one space so this is how it looks. We have five double crochet shell into this chain one space from our previous round. And now we are going to work one single crochet on top of the berry into the first chain that we made after working our four double crochets together. So here, so we'll insert the hook into the first chain, grab the yarn, pull up a loop and work a single crochet. And now again, we are going to work five double crochet shell into this chain one space right here. So it could get a little confusing. So I would really like to explain exactly where we are going to work. So we are not going to work into this space or into this space, but into this chain one space from our previous round. It is the chain one space right above the single crochet from our round one. So here you can see there is a chain one space. So we are going to work into this chain one space. So now moving on, we are going to work five double crochet shell into the chain one space. So right here, let's work. This is my first double crochet. This is my second double crochet. This is three. This is four and this is the fifth double crochet. And now working one single crochet on top of the berry. So into the first chain that we made after double crochet together. So here I'm inserting my hook into the first chain, grab the yarn, pull up a loop and work a single crochet. And now again working five double crochet into the next chain one space right above the single crochet from our round one there is a chain one space which we made in our round two so we are going to work five double crochet shell into the chain one space so this is my first double crochet this is my second double crochet this is three this is the fourth double crochet and the fifth double crochet now again working one single crochet on top of the berry into the first chain so right here we'll insert the hook grab the yarn pull up a loop and work a single crochet so now you can go ahead and repeat this pattern and i'll meet you when i'm at the last berry so right here so here i've reached at the end of this round i have already worked a single crochet above this last berry and now we are going to work five double crochet shell into this chain one space from our previous round. So right here into this chain one space. So let's work five double crochet here. So this is my first double crochet. This is my second double crochet. Working my third double crochet. 
this is four and working my fifth double crochet so this is how it looks and now we are going to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so right above the double crochets we are going to work one double crochet so this is my first double crochet we'll work one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch but again we are going to attach our previous yarn as well so this one the loop which we'll just left into our previous round so we'll wrap around the yarn insert the hook into the next stitch grab the yarn and pull up a loop wrap around the yarn pull through the first two loops and hold on to the remaining two loops place this loop from our previous round on the hook pull the longer end tight and now we'll wrap around the yarn the previous yarn and pull through all the three loops and this way we have just attached our previous yarn for the next round and also this completes our round three and now for our next round we are going to chain three here so this is my first chain this is two and this is three these three chains will be considered as our first double crochet now we'll turn our work and we are going to work one double crochet into this next stitch right here we'll work one double crochet into this following stitch and now chain one we'll work one single crochet into this space right before the five double crochet shell so here i'm working one single crochet and now we are going to work double crochet together over this five double crochet shell so let's work wrap around the yarn insert the hook between the first and the second double crochet grab the yarn pull up a loop wrap around the yarn and pull through the first two loops and hold on to the remaining two we have done this once we are going to repeat this three more times so this is the second time i'm working and holding on to the three loops this is the third time and holding on to remaining four loops and this is the fourth time and holding on to the remaining five loops now wrap around the yarn and pull through all the five loops together and lock it with the chain stitch and work two more chains so this is one and this is two give this a gentle pull and now we'll work one single crochet into this space right before this next single crochet and after the five double crochet shell so this space right here we'll insert the hook grab the yarn pull up a loop and work a single crochet so this is how it looks this is the first strawberry of our second row of strawberries and round four so now we are going to chain one and we'll work one single crochet into this next space right after the single crochet and before the next five double crochet shell so into this space right here we'll insert the hook grab the yarn pull up a loop and work a single crochet and now we are going to work double crochets together over this next five double crochet shell so let's work wrap around the yarn insert the hook between the first and the second double crochet grab the yarn pull up a loop wrap around the yarn and pull through the first two loops and hold on to the remaining two loops we have done this once we are going to repeat this three more times for a total of four times so let's work this is the second time i'm working on and holding on to three loops this is the third time i'm working on and holding on to the remaining four loops and this is the fourth time i'm working and holding on to the remaining five loops wrap around the yarn pull through all the loops together and lock it with a chain stitch work two more chains this is one and this is two and now give it a pull and work one single crochet into this next space right before the single crochet so here i'm working a single crochet into this next space now chain one and work one more single crochet into this next space right before the five double crochet shell so here worked a single crochet so now you can go ahead and repeat this pattern and i'll meet you when i'm at the last berry 
So here I've reached at the end of this round. I've already worked on the last berry and now we are going to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So these are the last three stitches. So this is the first double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. And we'll work one double crochet on top of these three chains that we made in our previous round. So I'm working one double crochet onto the top chain. And now we'll pull up a tall loop and leave it as is. And this completes our round four. And now for round five, I'm again going to attach this red color yarn and we are going to attach it at the right side of our work. So here we'll pick our work and insert the hook on top of the first three chains from our previous round. So here I'm inserting the hook onto the top chain. So here insert the hook, grab the red color yarn, pull up a loop and work three chain stitches. So this is one, two and three. We'll work one double crochet into the next stitch. And one double crochet into the following stitch. And now we are going to work one single crochet into the first chain that we made after working the double crochets together in our previous round. So here we'll insert the hook into the first chain, grab the yarn and pull up a loop and work a single crochet. And now we are going to work five double crochet shell into this chain one space that we made in our previous round right above the single crochet from our round three so here into the space let's work five double crochet shell into this space so this is my first double crochet i'm working on this is my second double crochet this is the third double crochet, this is four and this is the fifth double crochet. So this is how it looks and now again we are going to work one single crochet into the first chain above the berry. So here I am working one single crochet and now again working five double crochet shell into this next chain one space. So here. This is my first double crochet I'm working on. This is second double crochet. This is the third double crochet. This is the fourth double crochet. And this is the fifth double crochet. And now again, working one single crochet on top of the berry into the first chain. So now you can go ahead and repeat this pattern and I'll meet you right here at the last berry. So here I've reached at the end of this round. I've already worked on my last berry and now I'm going to work one double crochet in each of the last three stitches or the last three double crochets from our previous round. So let's work one double crochet into this next double crochet stitch right here above the double crochet working one double crochet, one double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch along with attaching our previous yarn. So here we'll wrap around the yarn and pull through the first two loops and hold on to the remaining two loops. Place the green loop over the hook, pull the yarn tight and now we'll wrap around the yarn and pull through all the three loops together to attach it and this way we have attached our green color yarn to work on our next round and this completes our round five and now working on to our next round with the green color yarn we'll chain three this is one two and three turn your work work one double crochet into this next stitch One double crochet in the next stitch. And now we are going to chain one and we'll work one single crochet into this space right before our next single crochet. So here in this space we'll insert our hook, grab the yarn, pull up a loop and work a single crochet. 
again chain one and we'll work one single crochet into this next space right after the single crochet and before the five double crochet shell so here in this space we are going to place one single crochet so this is how it looks we have worked a space for our next row of berries and now let's work double crochets together over this next five double crochet shell so this is the first time i'm working on and holding on to two loops this is the second time and holding on to three loops this is the third time holding on to four loops this is the fourth time and holding on to five loops and now wrap around the yarn and pull through all the five loops together and lock it with a chain stitch and work two more chains so this is one and this is the second chain give it a little pull and now work one single crochet into this space right before the single crochet so right here insert the hook grab the yarn pull up a loop and work a single crochet chain one and work one single crochet into this next space right after the single crochet and before the five double crochet shell so insert the hook grab the yarn pull up a loop and work a single crochet so this is how it looks and now you can go ahead and repeat this pattern and i'll meet you right at the last berry right here so here i've reached at the end of this round i've already worked on my last berry and now we'll chain one and we'll work one single crochet into this space right after the single crochet and before the next double crochet so there's a space here we are going to place one single crochet into this space and now we are going to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so this is the first double crochet i'm working on one double crochet into the next stitch and now one double crochet on top of the three chains so here i'm working one double crochet onto the top chain and here this completes our round six and now for our next round we'll pull up a tall loop leave it as is and we are going to work from the right side of our work with the red yarn so i'm going to attach this yarn on top of the first three chains that we made in our previous round so insert the hook grab the yarn and work three chains so this is one two and three work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches so this is one double crochet and one double crochet into the next stitch and now we are going to work five double crochets into this next chain one space right here so this is my first double crochet this is two this is three this is the fourth double crochet and this is the fifth double crochet now again we are going to work one single crochet on top of the berry into the first chain and now working five double crochet into this next chain one space so this is my first double crochet this is two this is the third double crochet this is the fourth double crochet and this is the fifth double crochet now again working one single crochet on top of the berry into the first chain so now you can go ahead and repeat this pattern and i'll meet you when i'm at the last berry right here so here i've reached at the end of this round i've already worked a single crochet over the berry and now i'm going to work five double crochet into this next chain one space so this is my first double crochet this is the second double crochet this is three this is the fourth double crochet and the fifth double crochet so this is how it looks and now we are going to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so this is my first double crochet into the next stitch 
one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch along with changing to our previous yarn so now working one double crochet into the next stitch and holding on to the remaining two loops place the green yarn loop over the hook pull the longer end tight and now we'll wrap around the yarn and pull through all the three loops to attach the yarn and this completes our round seven for our next round we are going to work three chains again so this is one two and three turn your work work one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch and now chain one work one single crochet into the space after the three double crochets and before the five double crochet shell so right here we'll work one single crochet into this space And now we'll work four double crochets together over this five double crochet shell so let's work this is the first time this is two this is three and this is the fourth time wrap around the yarn and pull through all the five loops together and lock it with the chain stitch and work two more chains give it a gentle pull and work one single crochet into this next space chain one and work one single crochet into the next space so this round is just a repeat of round four so now you can go ahead and repeat this pattern and i'll meet you at the end of this round so here i've reached at the end of this round i've already worked on my last berry and three chains on the top of the berry and now we'll work one single crochet into this space right before our next double crochet so i'm working one single crochet chain one and we'll work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so working one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet on top of the three chains from our previous round so here we have finished this round and this completes our round eight so here we have completed one two three and four rows of berries and in total i have worked eight rounds from here onwards you just have to keep on repeating round four five six and seven till your desired length i'm going to work on few more rounds and i'll show you how it looks so this is how my pattern looks like after i worked on few more rounds in total i have worked 16 rounds which created eight rows of berries and this is how my pattern looks like from the other side this is a reversible pattern so if you'll pop out the berries from this side it will then become the right side of your work so you can use it from both the sides while working on a bigger project it might get really confusing on what row of berries you're working on or how many berries should be there in that particular row so if you'll notice in my case i have five berries in the first row of berries and by first row of berries i mean the red and the green part together so in my case i have five berries in the first row and every even number or the second number of row will have one berry extra so in my case i have six berries also every odd number of rows will have equal number of berries so in my case every odd number of rows will have five berries and every even number of rows will have one berry extra that means six berries in every even number of rows so since every even number of rows will have one berry extra it would be a little outer side of your work so just by the look of it you will understand that these are my even number of rows so this completes our pattern here i hope you like this pattern and if you did then please do consider subscribing to my channel hit the like button share it with your loved ones let me know in the comment section below how your pattern turned out to be if you have any confusion or any question then please feel free to drop in a question into the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to help you out thank you so much for watching and stay blessed